are able to contribute with a reasonable and effective twenty-five dollar gift. Could we at least put you down for this? I have fifteen dollars in my bank account. It was really nice chatting with you, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye. You too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm voting for them. I I certainly that's who I'm voting for because the the person that runs my province. Uh, if you live somewhere else, I guess they'd call it state. I don't know what you call it in England if you're in England. Uh, but the person who runs my province is an absolute shithead. I'll give you a quick example before I get back to the game. Say I'm on vacation for a month. Nobody's in my house. I turn off every single electronic. So the meter outside doesn't even say there's one kilowatt. It, it, it Say it's just measuring the electricity to run the meter. Right? That's like nothing. Because, but anyways, the bill for that month, if I use no electricity, is still 50 fucking dollars because... They're shitty. And they're trying to pass this bill right now where they're like, oh, we won't raise taxes for four years. We won't pay. We have this massive debt thanks to our shitty government. But they're going to say we won't pay any money towards that debt for four years. What people don't realize is that when those four years are up, we're going to be paying five times what we're paying now because they're shitty and they're just trying to fucking ah, I hate them. Anyways, back to the game. Oh, where am I going from here? Oh yeah, it's this shitty part. That was a welcome phone call. I was really hoping that was someone else. I should have just gave her my voicemail spiel. Fuck. I did that flawlessly again. I, when you call my house, uh, it's been like this for like six years now. But... Uh, our voicemail is hello. Mm-hmm. We're not home at the moment, but but it's better pausing. It's like uh, I think I counted to three in between takes of the pause for the pause. So it sounds very natural, like you're actually talking to somebody. And so every time somebody calls our house, <laughs> they get voicemail. Either they're used to it because they're a relative and they've been calling for five fucking years, or they're somebody and they're like wait what <laughs> and a lot of people are like oh man you got me oh hell yeah i did it what's this one say beware of what of my titties um what's awesome about my voicemail is i've gotten myself legitimately i have gotten myself what what's this <laughs> that sounded very ominous what was that? I don't know. I had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying. And I imagined it wouldn't be happy about the visitors. Come on, come on, come on. Where was I supposed to go with that, bud? I did it fucking flawlessly. Oh my god. But yeah. People get really confused sometimes. People are like, yo, I'm stealing that voice message. Like, I'm doing that on my own at my house. A lot of the time, I actually, okay, funny story. Uh, I used to get in trouble a lot. Uh, who knew? I used to get in trouble at school. Um, <clears throat> ooh. Anyways, I got in real trouble from uh, my grade 7 teacher. Like, he was super, super pissed off at me. I can't remember why. Maybe because maybe it's because I walked out of class, just straight up walked a fuck out of class and said, "Nope, see you later." Um, but he was super pissed off at me that day. Anyways, he calls home, right? Gets my answering machine, and is like doesn't understand it's an answering message he thinks it's actually me so he calls three different times before he realizes oh this is actually 
a voice message. <laughs> and then he calls the principal. See that glowing plant over there? I bet something will happen if you use your grapple on it. Told you so. <laughs> Fucker. Um, anyways. The teacher called and was super pissed off that I had this voice message. Like, he was no longer pissed off that I had what I had done in class. He was pissed off because my voice message was so fucking good that it got him like three or four times. Anyways. Ah, oh, fucked that up. How? Anyways, he calls. He tells the principal. The principal calls. And this is the best thing ever. I don't remember if it was him or my principal. Although I don't think it was my principal because my principal was the loveliest lady ever. I, she was my favorite. Um school calls either principal or him says you need to change your voice message your your voicemail message because it's confusing so we literally got a call from the school telling us we need to change our message like what it was a voicemail and saying you need to change the voicemail message on your on your uh, machine and we're like we're not doing that because it is really dark down there hey it's you're not scared fuck of off you. maddie because i'm not because a it's hilarious b you're a fucking school you can't tell us what the hell to do so yeah my school tried to tell us how to run our fucking mail thing our voicemail I think that's just a funny story. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna go over here then. Sup? So, uh. Just gonna light you up. Okay, never mind. Just gonna jump over. This is what those lights are for. I don't feel like I should be running, but I'm going to run anyways. All right, cool. I didn't die yet. I just got a text from someone named my mom, but I'm recording for an hour. I got to get off this. I gotta get to a save point and then I'm then I gotta go. It's actual lunchtime. I'm, I'm very hungry. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe though that they had the nerve to tell us don't have that message. Who who has the right to tell you how you live your life? Fred has been with my people since the first villager was born. He helped us build the village, taught us how to speak, and helps us with everything. He taught me how to read and write as well. That's how I could learn to read the writing on the walls. I'm very confused. Do I go this way? I guess I do. Am I okay now? What's that? I'm so very confused. I'm so very confused. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so fucking confused. Where do I go? Down there? Do I go down there?
All right, I'm going down. Come on. All right, cool. Where is this shit? Come on. I'm so confused. I'm really, really confused right now. I feel like I've already been through here. I'm getting deja vu. Yeah, I'm getting super deja vu right now. I was just through here. I swear to God, I was just here. Okay. Well, I don't know how much longer it's going to be to the next stop point. I'm just going to try and do this little bit real quick. Just in case it's like right here. Okay, cool. I heard a beeping. I don't care anymore. I lost interest. What's that? Um. Come on. Boom. Boom. Fuck me. Boom. Boom. That's a save point right there. Boom. 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 What the? I'll see you in the next episode. When we get back to this thing. Actually, let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Dude. Dude. I think I, I think figured, I figured out, what, out that... what I that riding was going on about. Yeah. Maybe you don't we say? shouldn't charge right out in front of that thing. Remember what it said. Don't move when the eye is open. Yeah, I'll remember that. See you all in the next episode. I'm so happy we got to this point so quickly. Last time it took me like three or four hours gameplay. Wait, no, no. No. It's getting late, honey. Should we continue tomorrow? Yes. Thank you.